I'll be showing how easy it is to um, create an ETL process between Salesforce and a local MySQL database. Um, it's pretty easy to do. I, I really like the tool. It's free. Um, and if you need your clients need additional support, there's additional features you can upgrade to. So for this demo, what I'm going to show is here's my developer org in Salesforce. As you can see, I have uh, accounts, opportunities, and contacts, standard objects. You can see they're all linked to each other. One account could have many opportunities, and one account can have many contacts. This is a standard Salesforce CRM data model. And on my local machine, I have a MySQL database, which has account, contact, and opportunity with a similar data model. One account has many contacts. One account has many opportunities. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to flip over to the Talent tool. And we're going to use this tool to build the uh, extract process to load our data into Salesforce. And it's pretty easy. I'm just going to click on, it has built-in connectors for Salesforce, which is pretty cool. I'm going to right-click on my Salesforce schema in the repository section. I'm going to say create Salesforce connection. I'm going to give it a name. I click next. Uh, it's going to want a, this, the URL. I'm going to go ahead and give it version 23 because the default's a little old. I'm going to give it my developer org credentials here. And da, 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 da. And that's going to require me to check my login. Tool. I should be able to log in. There we go. Beautiful. Click finish. All right, so now I have a connection to Salesforce that I can reuse. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to retrieve the Salesforce modules, which is basically retrieving the schema. I'm going to say, here's all the objects in my Salesforce work. I want to grab accounts. I want to grab contacts. And I want to grab opportunities. Now what this is doing is it's going to go ahead and pull down all the field describes and everything so that I can easily plunk them onto uh, jobs. So you can see here it has all my columns in it from Salesforce. So now I have a connection for Salesforce that I can reuse across all my jobs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create another connection to my local database. Say next. Uh, this is, as you can see, there's a wide support of databases. I'm going to use MySQL. I'm going to say next. Check that connection. This is a garbage database. I don't have a password on here, but obviously you would have a password if this is production. It's just a garbage database for development. It doesn't matter. Great. So now I have my database connection here. Now what I need to do is I need to retrieve the schema. I have my local CRM here. Say pull in all the tables. It's showing me all the stuff that I've defined in my schema in my local database. I'm going to say fine. Pull it. And now I have my schema available in my metadata to reuse. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into a job. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Salesforce extract demo. And then what we'll do is we're just going to drag we're going to just going to drag our elements onto the the canvas and link them together do the transformation. So my input's going to be Salesforce. 
And what's cool is you can just drag the component on and then it gives you options that are available. So what I'm going to do is Salesforce is going to be the input in this process or the extract. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now I have the Salesforce connection. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in the account, the matching tables or t table or tables that I want to output into. Say so it's a MySQL output. And then what I need to do is I need to use what's called a TMAP component, which is basically does the mapping between two different data sources. So I'm going to click and drag that onto the scheme, onto the table. So now I have all the, the basic components I need. Now to output things, I just right click on the component. I say row and main to link it to the TMAP. And for the output for the TMAP, I'm going to say row, new output connect it to my MySQL output. I'm going to call this account row. Click OK. Now the whole process is connected. It's going to say, do you want to get the schema of the target component? I'm going to say yes. So now these are connected all the way through. I'm going to double click on the TMAP. Here's all my Salesforce fields. Here's all my fields in MySQL. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click Auto Map since these are named uh, similarly, it'll auto map them, but if you needed to, you can just drag and, and drop fields over here. For example, the Salesforce ID is not going to be the ID in the MySQL database. So what I want to do is I want to clear that out. And I really want the Salesforce ID to go into this external ID here called Salesforce ID. I'm going to drag and drop that in there. And as you can see, you just drag and drop and it automatically associates it with that. So now I'm going to click Apply. OK. So now I have a whole process here which is going to basically extract all of my accounts, transform them, and put them into the, the account table. And I can simply double check here the operation which I'm going to do on my MySQL database. And what we want to do is we don't want to insert duplicates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Action on Data within the Component tab. I'm going to say Insert or Update. I'm going to save this. Now if I look at my MySQL database right now, if I query this table, there's nothing in here right now. So it's a clear table. Now I'm going to run this process and pull out the accounts. It's as simple as up in the upper left is running job section. As you can see, it's run. 12 rows outputted. If I go over here, I say refresh. And you can see all the test accounts were outputted. Very simple. Next time, I'll show how to do a more comp add a couple additional steps to the job.